Complex designs may require great precision. A grid is a perfect tool to help you achieve your goals. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, let's have a look at the grid in Krita and see how we can modify it to our needs. To activate the grid on your canvas, go to View, choose Show Grid. The default grid appears on the canvas. Let's customize it. Go to Settings, choose Dockers. Here, select Grid and Guides. As you can see, the docker comes with two tabs, one for the grid and one for the guides. We are going to work within the grid tab. And before to continue, please know that all units of measurement within this tab are in pixels. Here are two boxes that you can check or uncheck. Leave the show grid box checked. If you are the kind of artist or designer who needs the shapes to line up perfectly within the grid, be sure to check the Snap to Grid box. I'll leave mine unchecked. This drop-down menu will allow you to choose what type of grid you want to work with. You can choose to work with a rectangle grid, or you can choose the isometric grid. I'll choose the rectangle one. Here you can modify the number of subdivisions that exist within the grid. You can use these up and down arrows, or you can type a new value directly into the input box. This is a link button. When activated, it links these two input boxes, which are the X spacing and the Y spacing. Meaning that whatever changes you make in one of the input box, it will be reflected in the other. Now for those of you who really want a specific grid, you may want to inactivate the link. So let's do that. I am going to try different values to show you how it looks. All right, time to modify a few more things. Using any of these two drop-down menus, you can choose a different look for the main lines and for the division lines. You can choose to see them as lines, dashed, or dots. Click on these windows to change their colors. The last thing that I want to talk about is the Grid Offset button. If you click on the Grid Offset button, you will change the grid starting position from the top left corner of the canvas. Let me show you. Now the offset is at zero, and as you can see, this subdivision is perfectly aligned in the top left corner. See what happens when I enter a new value. Now we can only see parts of that subdivision. I do not see the interest of doing this, so I'll put it back to zero. Before to leave this section, you will notice that uh, here again, we can link or unlink the two input boxes. Since I don't need to offset the grid, I will leave this section unchecked. As always, if you are going to use this docker a lot, make sure to dock it on your interface. However, if this is a one-time thing, you can always leave a docker floating on your canvas. Just find a nice place where it won't bother you. So this is it for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Au revoir et à bientôt.